Hello, this is Skylimit High and Episode 2 of Scratch Basics. Now, if you haven't already watched Episode 1, make sure to click the link in the description below. Let's get started. In the last episode, we covered how to move the Scratch Cat using arrow keys and how to change its direction. In this episode, I will be covering about costumes. So first off, we want to create a new project. So click the new project button and wait for the new project to load. Now let's rename it. You can rename it to whatever you want. I'll name it costumes and keep the default scratch cat. I'll name this cat. On the screen right now, you can see the cat looks like this. But what if we want it to look different? Simply click on costumes. You can see the, the cat has two costumes. One is in a walking position. One is in a running position. Now each costume is basically how your sprite looks. If you switch costumes, they'll switch how the sprite looks to whatever the costume looks like. I'll be teaching you how to make the scratch cat change color. Let's first delete this running costume and keep this walking costume. Firstly, let's change the color of the cat. Right click on the costume and click duplicate. Now, using the paint bucket, we can fill parts of the scratch cap to a different color. I'm going to make mine red. You can repeat that step to make other colors. I'll make green. And Okay, now we have four costumes, and they're all different colors. As you can see, when I click on one costume, the cat changes to that color. If I click to this one, it changes to this color, because the costume's color is red. Click here, changes to green. If you click here, it changes to blue. Let's name each of these costumes to its color. Name this orange. Name this one red. Name this one green, and name this one blue. Now that we have four different costumes, we can switch them. Go to your code, and go to your empty workspace. Click on events, and drag one green flag clicked, because that is the most important block. Go to looks, and as you can see, we have a switch costume block. Switch costume to whatever. Let's drag that underneath this green flag clicked block. If we read this, it says when green flag clicked, switch costume to blue. So when I click green flag, it should switch it to blue. Let's change it to red so you can see it more clear. Click green flag, it'll change it to red. What if we want to change the cat's color? every one second, let's say. Then we have to use the repeat block. Drag that underneath when green flag clicked. And now everything underneath the repeat block will run a certain amount of times. You can enter the amount of times the repeat block runs. Let's change it to five. Now, let's try dragging this switch costume to blue underneath here. When we click green flag, the cat switches to blue. But why isn't it changing? Because it's switching to blue five times, but the cat is already blue, so we can't see any change. We want to switch to the next costume. The 
there is a next costume block right here. So simply drag that underneath this repeat block and click the green flag. Now you can see the cat change its color, but it's changing really fast. We want it to wait one second. So go to control and drag this wait one second block underneath next costume. Now when we click the green flag, it changes color every one second. What if we want the cat to change color when we click a certain key or press a certain key? In our last video, we learned about this when key press block. Let's drag that into our workspace and change this to whatever key you want. I'll change it to E. So when E key pressed, everything underneath it will run. We want the cat to switch to the next costume or the next color when we click the E button. So all we have to do is drag this next costume underneath this one E key pressed. Let's set a default color when we click the green flag. When we click the green flag, let's set it to orange. So now when we click the green flag, the cat changes color to orange, and when we press E, the cat changes color every time. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.